Now let's talk about some different operations we can perform using matrices. So first let's talk about matrix transposition. And all this refers to is taking a matrix, we'll take a fairly simple matrix here, with just a, a one, two, three, and four uh, as its values. And with transposition, what we're doing here is flipping the matrix on its uh, diagonal axis like this. So if this is matrix M, then the transpose of matrix M would be something that looks like this, right? So again, let's, let's visually imagine this, this flip on this diagonal axis here. So uh, actually let's leave the, that arrow in there. So one and four, are gonna stay in the same place here, right? Because that, that diagonal axis just stays there. Um, however, the three is gonna get moved up to this position and the two is moved down. So it's gonna look something like that. And we could do the same thing here with a, another matrix. Let's say we have, how about a, a, three, a three by two matrix. So what if we had uh, one, two, three, in here and uh, four, five, six, right over here. So again, this is a three by two matrix. We could say that the transpose of this matrix would be the following. Now this gets a bit interesting because the dimensions of this non-square matrix actually change because remember, we're, we're doing this flip around the diagonal axis. So, one and six are gonna basically stay in the same position. Um, they'll kind of stay fixed to the upper left and lower right uh, positions here. However, the other, uh, the other elements are gonna get moved around. So, well, the four is gonna get kind of flipped under here. So four would get written down here. The five, again, kind of gets flipped underneath there. So the five would go down there. And likewise, the two and the three get kind of flipped above, right? So two would end up right here, that's two, and the three would end up right here. So here we end up with a two by three matrix. All right, so just do keep that in mind that the dimensions do change when you transpose a non-square matrix. All right, next we have a scalar multiplication here for matrices, which is very straightforward. Right, if we have a matrix M, which is, again, let's just use a very simple uh, two by two matrix uh, with, uh, let's say one, two, three, and four as its elements, we could say uh, that um, this matrix multiplied by the scalar K would be equal to, uh, well, just, just K times each of the elements of the matrix. All right, so, right, so we, we, just, uh, we, we just multiply uh, this scalar by every element. It's the same deal as a vector scalar multiplication. So I'm sure we don't need to go through a calculation to demonstrate this. Um, but yeah, very, very straightforward. And there may be situations where we have to do this. And now we come to matrix multiplication, which is the backbone of all uh, transformations in 3D graphics, right? Matrix multiplication is so important that uh, GPU hardware is specifically designed to accelerate the matrix multiplication process. It is used all the time when doing, uh, doing different operations involving uh, computer graphics. So we're going to see that two matrices can be multiplied together only under certain conditions. And therefore there is a strict rule that we must adhere to. So to multiply matrix, let's just call this matrix uh, A, to multiply matrix A by matrix B, the number of columns in matrix A must be equal to the number of rows in matrix B. All right, so uh, we'll see in, a, in just a second that we can do this matrix multiplication. However, if we tried to multiply these matrices together, we would see that it wouldn't actually work. 
because the number of columns in A, which is two, does not equal the number of rows in B, right? So in, in essence, we would have to transpose this, uh, this uh, vector here, or this, this uh, one by two matrix to column form in order to actually successfully perform this multiplication. Um, we'll see later on that uh, you know, there, there are differences when working in the right-handed or left-handed coordinate systems, and so we have to use uh, may, maybe a transposed version of a matrix in order to successfully complete the multiplications that we need to. All right, but uh, at least we can see here that we cannot perform this matrix multiplication because the number of columns in A does not match the number of rows in B. So we can safely get rid of this for the time being. We cannot do that. We will, however, solve this matrix multiplication right here. All right, now, uh, the, the, a pretty good way of remembering uh, what gets multiplied by what involves just a little visual rearrangement of these matrices. What I'm going to do is actually just get rid of this for a second here. And what I'm going to do just to help out in remembering what to multiply with what and what to add with what, I'm just going to visually move this second matrix, right, matrix B, I'm just going to move that above, uh, just slightly, slightly up, so I get some more space to work with here. And actually, I'll move it over a little bit as well. Let's write another matrix in here. This will be our answer. So what we're going to see with matrix multiplication is that for each row here, uh, you know, thinking about these as the x components represented in this matrix, and of course the y components being represented here in this column, and of course we've got the x components here in this vector, and y right over here in this row of the vector, what we're going to see is that the associated components are multiplied together. So let's try and figure out this first element of the resulting matrix. Uh, we're going to see that the related components are multiplied together for each row, right? So we're going to start out here with 1 times 1, and then we are going to sum that with the other related components multiplied together. So we're going to take the y component here, multiply that with the y component over here. That is a 2 times 2. Let's do the same thing for the second rows here. So again, x times x, so that's 3 times 1, and then sum that with 4 times 2. So 4 times 2. All right, so let's just multiply and sum the results here for each row. So we're going to end up with 1 plus 4. And let's just replace that here. So we're going to get a 5. And again, multiply and sum the results. So we get 3 plus 8 which is 11. So let's just pop that in here. And there we go. That is the result of this matrix. It is matrix multiplication, but in this case, it's, it's really just matrix vector multiplication. But it is, it is the exact same process. If we are uh, multiplying two matrices together, it's the exact same process. We just have to make sure the number of columns matches the number of rows of the second matrix here and then we'll be able to perform the matrix multiplication. All right, so our answer here is uh, the vector uh, 5, 11, or in other words, the uh, 2 by 1 matrix 5, 11. And uh, before we finish off here, let's just quickly create a, a matrix multiplication calculation on a spreadsheet just so that we, we you know, get, get some more experience working with it. So this will be our matrix multiplication. And let's actually, let's visually lay out the cells here the same way we did back when we were doing this multiplication by hand. So we'll start with, uh, we'll, we'll use these cells down here. Let's just get, let's just get our outside borders here. We'll use this, uh, the, these cells to represent matrix A. So again, we can use the 
same example we were working with before of one, two, uh, three, and four. And then let's use let's use these. Let's use these cells again, get our outside borders, and uh, write in the matrix uh, one, two, or the vector one, two, however you want to look at it. We can center those up. And we're going to be calculating, going to be calculating this result right here. So let's go ahead and uh, do that using the formula that well we we just used when we did this multiplication by hand. But again, I have it written out here just so that we can see that. So the first uh, the the first element of this resulting matrix will be x times uh, M11, right? That's this element right here, plus Y times M12, which will be that element right there. So let's go ahead and type that in here to Excel. So we're going to take, uh, it's going to be this times this plus uh, this times this, our Y component right here. All right. So there's, there's the result for that element of the resulting matrix. And let's do the same thing here by taking x times m21, that's that element right down here, plus y times m22, this element right here. All right, so that's this element times uh, the x component plus this element times the y component. All right, and so there we go. We get our, our uh, final answer, 511. All right, so. So there's a matrix multiplication between a two by two matrix and a two by one uh, matrix or, or vector.